This screencast is going to show you some of the basic features of Keynote. To start a new presentation in Keynote, you tap the plus symbol in the top left hand corner and then create presentation. You can then choose from the themes which are here in front of you and they're a really good basis for starting a presentation actually. Uh, I'm going to start with a pretty simple one though, so uh, I'm just going to start with white. You tap it and up it comes. To get into edit any of the text as it says just double tap and in you go and I'm going to talk about the IDJ Live which is a controller for the DJ app on the iPad and uh, subtitle DJ on your iPad there you go to change the image you simply tap on the bottom right hand corner of the image and you can then choose uh, the image you want so I was going to go straight in and pop it in there now as with pages if you want to do anything to your image uh, such as move it around you can tap on it once and then once you've tapped on it once you can then slide it around what's handy is you can see the guide it snaps to the center like so if I take two fingers though and tap onto the image uh, I can then do things like rotate it round and what have you. So these are pretty much staples of adding in text or editing text that's already in there, uh, putting images in. What well, I wanted to put uh, an image in from scratch though, so I want two copies of this image. So I'm just going to make that one smaller and pop it up there. I want the same image going on onto the other side of the slide. How do I put that in? Well, I just need to go to plus and then you can see as in pages you've got your tables and charts and, and shapes and what have you but uh, just go to media camera roll choose the image and in it pops again and as before you can just resize it and what have you and move it around wherever you want it what well, if I want to add some text in well again uh, I'll just go to the plus symbol and this time I'm going to go to shapes and then a text option is just there and then text appears and I can uh, resize the text frame so to edit the text box I just double tap on it and I'm in again and I can type whatever it is I want notice it's bound by the size of the text frame if I close the keyboard and tap on it once I can then resize and again I can see I can snap it to the center like so. You'll also notice once I'm actually editing the text uh, I can then go into the paintbrush icon and I can then play around with the formatting of the text so I can make it a title, I can change the alignment, I can make it bold and italicize it and underline and strike through and what have you. I can also change the size of it, the color of it and the font and there's quite a comprehensive list of fonts uh, in the various iWork apps I'll just leave it as it is for now and there you go basic features adding text putting images in resizing them rotating them and formatting the text as well I'm Mark Anderson thank you very much